What is going on everyone, my name is Ovi and welcome to a new FIFA 23 tutorial here on the channel. Today we are going to talk about the best ways to attack in FIFA 23. A few of them are similar to previous seasons, another techniques are a bit different and overpowered this season. As always, you're more than welcome to leave a like if you're enjoying the content, the tutorial series on the channel. We are going to start with the overpowered over the head chip pass. And this is extremely, extremely good this season. All you have to do, guys, is press L1 plus R1 on your PlayStation controller plus, uh, of course, the triangle and only release it when your player is in this exact position. This will do a pass over the defense, very accurate to your player. The L1-R1 combination uh, gives less height to the ball and gives more velocity, more speed. We've got another example right here when we're doing something different. We are also triggering the run of the third man. So this is a bit different because we don't have two players uh, involved in the play. We've got three players. We got the pass to the teammate, the third one doing the run and afterwards releasing the L1 plus R1 and triangle pass to your teammate. Also, this has a different variation in this particular scenario right here. When my player, I don't think is in a good position to receive this long uh, pass. The defender is covering very well the ground. What do we do right there? We open up the play in the center and we do a different type of pass. A simple triangle through ball to the striker, put him in a an amazing position from where he can shoot the ball in a one-on-one -on -one situation. That was a counter-attack technique. Now for a positional attack technique. And this is in FIFA since 10 years ago, guys. Uh, and I still make sometimes the mistake in the game not to use it enough. I'm talking about the moments when the opponent's defense is just overcrowded in the center. The center of the pitch and the biggest problem uh, the, the biggest mistake that you can do when that happens is to just pass the ball directly to your uh, your strikers they're gonna be stopped super super easy uh, the easiest way to counter this is just go on the wing to stretch the opponent's defense from there on turn back with a ball roll or another skill move or no skill move and do consecutive passes from teammate to teammate. This will uh, offer you the opportunity to avoid that crowded defense in the midfield because you've stretched it and now you're doing the passes from the winger, midfielder, striker. Once in the penalty box, I advise a step over in order to open up the angle even better for a shot. Another very, very interesting scenario is the one right here in which we're gonna use the step over boost. Memorize it because it's extremely, extremely effective and important to use in your attacking arsenal. After you've ran on the wing, you've opened up the play with a pass in the center and passed to the striker. If you have your striker in this particular position, he's being flanked from the to his left and to his right by defenders and he's perpendicularly facing the goal line you can do a step over without changing the direction after releasing the step over this will trigger a superb speed boost and you will be able to get with your striker past the defenders into a shooting position from where you've got good very good chances to score a goal now for a more risky type of pass of technique of attacking in uh, fifa 23 i'm talking about the driven pass. Driven pass uh, can be performed by pressing R1 and pass on your controller. And why is this so important? This will trigger a super fast ground pass to your striker and uh, it will destabilize the opponent's defense. Uh, it is a rule in football in FIFA. When you start to play faster, the opponent's defense has problems coping with the speed of your attack and that is exactly 
what a driven pass does in your favor and helps you, as I was saying, destabilize the opponent's defense. Next, we have the manual trigger run of your teammate and it is extremely, extremely important. As you can see here, I am going on a counterattack with a pass to my winger. Check out the left analog direction prior to me receiving the ball and also see that I am pressing the trigger run, the second man uh, trigger run for my teammate. This will make my striker get in the right position for a cross. Of course, if you're using fast buildup, they will go automatically in those positions, but at times fast buildup is pretty, pretty risky and you can use the manual trigger of your teammates run in your advantage by moving the left analog in the direction of your teammate while the ball is traveling to your first player and triggering manually his run. The result is superb. I get two players in the penalty box and it is impossible for the opponent's defenders to cope with that. I've got the space, volley, goal, it's a beauty. Another cheeky trick that has helped me a lot in FIFA 23 is the goal line technique and it's super easy to do. All you have to uh, do with your player is move him towards the goal line. Super easy. Of course, you can uh, use different type of skill moves, heel to heel, uh, ball roll, normal heel to heel, um, an elastico. You can use this type of skill moves that have tutorials on the channel to get in that position. But sometimes it is as easy as just walking with the ball close to the goal line and you will see that your strikers will get in an amazing position in front of the goal and all you have to do from there is just do a normal pass or a driven pass to the striker, press the shot button, score a goal. Last but not least, we've got the extra pass in the penalty box. Something that I don't always get right but I know I should do. I get overexcited and maybe shoot the ball too early. Uh, as we are seeing here, I am in a position with my striker in the penalty box uh, and he's being blocked by the defenders. No chance to do anything from there. Always, guys, do an extra first touch pass. Uh, that will revolutionize your game. Play it on the wing, then cut inside with a pass to one of your striker, strikers or central attacking midfielders and do a first touch pass to your next player from there on you can do a shot and finish with is you won't have problems with the ai defending there you have it boys a few of the techniques that have helped me uh, score a lot of goals in for champions in division rivals you've got the l1 plus r1 pass you've got the normal through ball pass when the l1 r1 is being blocked by the defenders uh, you've got uh, the opportunity to build from the wing. You've got the step over speed boost, like I've explained before. You've got the driven pass to destabilize the defense. Uh, the manually trigger run of your teammate. You've got the goal line technique. And the most important, maybe, the extra pass in the penalty box. Uh, these are techniques. Some of them are easy uh, to learn. Some of them uh, a bit more complicated. But all in all, uh, they do require practice of course, and once you have these techniques in your mind, they will help you a lot in FIFA 23. Because when you start a game and you have no game plan, you don't know where to go, what to do, that's a big problem. But when you have a few techniques that you know, okay, in this game, this opponent is crowding a lot uh, his defense in the myth, in the middle, in the center. Then I know what to do. Okay, in this uh, um, in this game, my opponent is pressuring me. I'm gonna use the IL-1 plus R1 pass. You know the techniques, you can apply them and win more games. This will be all for today's video, boys. Don't forget to drop a like. My name is Ovi, and I'll see you fellas in the next videos. Bye-bye.